I'm Holly. That's Ray. And this is our home, Sabado. Together, we've sailed the east coast of the United States, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean. And now we've begun the next leg of our circumnavigation, the Pacific. Subscribe to tag along on the adventure. We haven't had a single comfortable day since we got to this anchorage. And we just got this message from our weather router. An unwelcome feature of this year's weather has been the conditions experienced by many in French Polynesia, in particular the two MO2s. That's where we are. Another period of high convection is forecasted for Monday. Care should be taken anchoring and transiting while the convection is strong, as the forecasts have been typically under forecasting the conditions in these occurrences, and we've been seeing severe active cells in the forecast that look benign. Yes, we have. We're gonna sail to Tahiti, get somewhere with protection, and just relax for a little. That squall caught up to us, so we're just gonna wait for it to blow over before exiting the pass. Looks like we're not the only one. Now that's more like it. We're being a little overly conservative right now. We're on the second reef, but Sabado's doing just fine. Speed over ground is six and a half. A lot of that is from the sea state though. We're definitely surfing. going really well. Um, good downwind sailing, nice bright blue sky. Hopefully this keeps up. We're supposed to run out of wind, uh, well or it's supposed to die off here this afternoon, but I think I think there'll still be enough for us to sail. We're heading to Tahiti. We'll be there. We'll get in late tonight, probably midnight, 1 a.m., but uh, the anchor ship we're going to be head to is, uh, I've been told is really easy to get into at night, so no worries there. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of a mixed, you know, bittersweet situation. Looking forward to getting there so that we can go to a, a large grocery store. You think there'll be eggs? <laughs> uh, yeah, eggs okay, so weeks. I was just chatting with our friend Nick who was in Tahiti uh, not too long ago, and he was asking the same question. What are you, what are you, what are you looking forward to? Eggs. And I said, big, fat, juicy bacon cheeseburger with fries and some eggs. <laughs> and he, he said that they had some, they, he gave us some recommendations for burgers. And he said when they were here just not too long ago, the entire island had no eggs. So we'll see. We're gonna go for some wing on wing action here. 165. There she goes. Beautiful. working out in our favor.
I've got some dinner on and there's a gorgeous sunset out there. Here, I'll show you for real. Nothing better. Okay, well, there's Tahiti. And although there is a decent anchorage that we can get into safely at night, the way that the wind is blowing, I don't think that anchorage is gonna be very comfortable. So it's just a little extra time and we'll be in Marea. It's looking a little spooky this morning. So the anchorage is behind this huge reef. You can see where the waves are crashing. It's kind of incredible. Water is super clear. We're just scouting out a spot. There's three times as many boats here as there were on AIS, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can sort it out before it starts raining. Oh my god, there's a spotted eagle ray. It's right there. <laughs> Anchor is down. We're a little bit concerned about those rocks over there. The wind should keep us over here, but we're just going to stay up and keep an eye on things for a while just in case. We can't really scoot back much further because we're on a shelf, so. I need some coffee. The sun is starting to peek through the clouds and the water is just glowing. Look at that. I promise I'm not altering the color in these clips. It's like almost fluorescent. I gotta get in. Water clarity is incredible here. 
I've just been kind of swimming up to the far end of the reef and then the current is just pushing me back and then I swim back up and just kind of drift dive back. It's really, really nice. started to shift around and we were getting pushed toward the reef. I just opened my mouth to complain but um, that would be incredibly stupid because the reality of the situation is we just spent a casual Thursday morning sipping coffee and swimming in one of the most beautiful places in the world. I mean people save up for years to honeymoon in Morea. So I'm bummed that we have to move but it is not the end of the world. Our plan B Anchorage is in Tahiti and it should take us about three hours to get there and I'm sure it's going to be beautiful too. There's a lot of traffic out here. This is not really what we were hoping for. Unfortunately though, this is the only spot we could get to before dark, so here we are. It's pretty bouncy. Okay, probably making you seasick. We got tossed around all night. The sun isn't even up yet, but we're getting the heck out of here. Local government just posted a bulletin making it illegal to anchor where we just were. Apparently a sailboat washed ashore a few days ago and the locals are rightfully pissed. Um, 
the comments on the online bulletin are pretty vicious, very anti-cruiser, and someone did take it upon themselves to let us know directly that we are not welcome. So we are moving along. Unfortunately, our other options are pretty limited. The anchorages here in Tahiti, many of them have 48 hour stay limits, and the ones that don't are fully packed. We just passed one, and there are quite literally over 100 boats there. And the marinas here don't take reservations in advance, so you're just supposed to call when you're close and see if they have availability, and they're fully booked. So we're gonna go a little bit further than we anticipated. It looks like it's gonna be really well protected and at this point, we just need some sleep and food. We've made it to the pass. I'm not gonna lie, these waves look a little intimidating. fine. It's flat calm in here. This is the other pass. It's actually closer to our anchorage but we chose to go through the one farther south because it's wider and we didn't really know how it would go with those waves. But seeing this, We'll probably use it on our way out. Looks fine, well marked. Well, we made it. Definitely won't be running the water maker in here though. Um, we tried to go to shore earlier, but we got chased by a pack of angry dogs. So I think we're just gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.